So if uh, anyone else out there is going to do their own um, oil change and oil filter change on their Jaguar, I lined up the tools what I'm going to use today on uh, my server. So I've got a flatter screw driver, I've got 8 and 10 mil spanner, I've got a star head to get around the size of the underbelly regarding when it's uh, attached to the um, mud flaps. I've got obviously a quarter inch and a half inch um, ratchet with an eight and a 10 mil. Um, please note this is a 32 mil um, socket here. That is for getting the outer casing of the oil filter out. Um, a 13 mil and obviously the standard air as well. Any questions, um, please just drop me a message on the YouTube. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, so we're gonna do an oil change and an oil filter change on a V6 Jaguar diesel. We've got the tools ready, we've got the bucket, and we've got the new Crashland oil filter and O-ring ready. That's contain all the oil that's gonna spill out. And we've got the um, Shell Helix Ultra 5W30 and just some uh, screen wash. Okay, we're jacking up the car now. <clears throat> I'll show you underneath. We've got to take the belly plate off. If you can see, all the belly plate, all the screws there, there, and all up there. I'm going to take that off and I'm going to show you what it is. So as we go underneath the car, we've got two belly plates. We've got the front belly plate here and then the back belly plate. The first side you've got to take off is a few screws all the way around. You can either allen them or I'm just using a, a flathead to get them all off. So as we go underneath, I've taken off the first um, belly plate here, which was a series of screws and uh, bolts at the other side. However, what I did realize is um, you don't actually have to take the front one off first. All you have to do is loosen two, two screws there, which are these, and they're size 10. You can take them off there and there. And what you can do is literally, once they're all off, is slide that, that back belly plate out and get access to the sump. So you'll save yourself a lot of time taking off all the front panel. So I thought I'd just share that with you anyway. So the belly plates are off now, front and the big one at the back. Um, I'll show you underneath in a minute. You take off the cap which indicates what you've got to put in, the uh, 5W30 for high performance engines. That unclips and then you expose the V6 as well as the, uh, the filling capsule and the um, oil filter in there. Um, what I would say is a plastic uh, top on there, so just be careful when you unwind it. And obviously gives you the arrow to indicate which way it takes off to put the oil filter in. Black, really dark. And okay, so while it is draining down the bottom of the sump, um, you need a 32 um, millimeter socket for the top of the um, oil filter casing. Take that off, get a bit of rag ready, and I'm gonna go put it, dispose of it in a plastic bag so and get rid of it ready. Um, what you have here is the new um, oil filter and the new O-ring. So I'm going to rub that round with the old oil um, just to help get a nice seal before I put that back in. Okay. So there's the old filter that's come out of the case in there. Um, so now I'm going to put the new one in while disposing of that one correctly and put the new O-ring around the, around the base. It took me a while to get the actual old filter out of the filter casing. Um, so what I had to actually do was get a flathead screwdriver, put it into the side, and then wedge it out using its, using your own, own rim on the inside. Once that popped, you hear it pop, that can come out. Put that in the old casing. Get a new one I got from uh, Crosslands on Euro Car Parts. Chuck that one back in. It's got a squeeze right the way down. That little click at the end you heard is make sure it's nice and flush, okay? And then use a flathead screwdriver, get the old O-ring off. That one's come off there. The new one I've got sent here. Make sure that's fit, I've got oily hands. And then, happy days. What I'm going to do before it goes back in, is make sure it's sitting nicely and then put a bit of oil all the way around so it can actually um, sit nicer when it goes back in. Happy days. So I've topped up the oil, put the oil uh, filter back in the cap back on, casing back on, obviously I clean up all the dirt there. Um, <coughs> and 
just finished the front belly plate and the back plane belly plate as well um, and that's me done I'm just gonna lower it and that's me done guys hopefully you find this uh, video interesting any dramas let me know